Lock them up and throw away the key, that's what I say. Welcome back to the 2-Bit Crypto channel. My name is Mike. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at all the noise around Saitama and the lawsuits, the coin market cap disaster, where I think we are right now and what could happen to the price. So if that's something you like the sound of it, then make sure you're subscribed to the 2-Bit Crypto channel. We upload daily crypto content. Make sure you give this a thumbs up and let's jump in to this video. So unless you've been living under a rock, we know that a couple of days ago, CoinMarketCap launched this kind of, I'm not going to say slander, but it kind of is really. It's an attack on Willie D, who is a partner of Saitama. He isn't an owner. He's not one of the devs. Um, just, you know, an investor like you or I, but a partner in Saitama. And um, look, it talks about some sort of case from, from 10 years ago. There's loads of videos about it. I'm not particularly going to talk about that. But what did we see in terms of price movement? Obviously, we saw a huge dump as people kind of got scared and got nervous and the way it was kind of put across made it look like it was kind of, you know, today's news as it were. So what does that look like in terms of price action right now? We're in the 6498 range, $17.7 million of daily volume and our holders at 250,000. Dextools is always slightly behind, so I do think it's over that now. But what do I look, see when I look at the chart? I think I see some relative stability. Yeah, we've seen a couple of big sell-offs and equally a couple of big buybacks, but some relative stability. I think we are currently waiting for a good news story, a good news cycle, some development. Say to mask, we know coming, and we'll talk about that really, really quickly in a minute. But we're not losing much. You know, we are in a really stable place, which is good to see. So what do we want to talk about? So the Saitama dev team will have a meeting with the legal team tomorrow afternoon, and we'll do an AMA to follow up the community. So I think the fact that Saitama is an LLC company allows them to take legal action against coin market cap and equally the company that owns coin market cap which when we look at about them we know that it was acquired by binance capital management now look i'm not going to spread any food but i think there is a significant coincidence between the fact that binance owned that and the issues on coin market cap now i can't confirm whether it was deliberate or not i know there's some videos out there that certainly have a bit more information or will speculate on that information but certainly an interesting concept but again my point being Saitama is an LLC company therefore they can launch legal action against um coin market cap what else we've we seen Russ rest assured we will not sleep until this matter is handled swiftly and appropriately and I think it's all, all gone a little bit quiet right now and I think you know what does that tell me they are working through a legal case is my opinion because it's gone quiet, you know, they're clear in terms of what they're going to do, but I think there is certainly going to be a legal case that comes out, and I think we'll see it on a couple of fronts. I think we'll see it personally for Willie D, and the fact that, he's, that his name's been used in slander, um, and all news has been brought up, I certainly think there'll be something. And then equally the attack officially on the Saitama website, and the brand, and the company, the LLC, therefore they can file lawsuits, so I think that's going to be interesting. So what does that mean in terms of price and when are we going to see some movement? Here's my take on a couple of these things. So we are anticipating the launch of Satamas. We know that the, the official launch was a bit of a flop, but look, there are more uh, potential with this. And I think, you know, this is going to be worth waiting for. One step shot for your NFT crypto and market needs. We've talked quite a bit on the channel around that, but certainly that is on the way. You know, that's going to get a good news cycle going. The Certic audit, we are just waiting on the final stages of that to be completed. What is interesting, though, is that the public view, 97% voted for a secure platform on the Certic mask, which is really good to see, but excited to see what this comes out as. And I think that could be really, really good. So you think about two really positive news stories. I think the the potential of the lawsuit could be really interesting. And I think, look, Binance, over $30 billion. Um, could they settle out? Maybe, you know, could there be some um, way of supporting the certain mass through the Binance chain? Who knows? But I think it's certainly interesting to see. And more importantly, where this goes. And look, Saitama has got some money behind it. Let's be clear on that. Um, and I think, you know, Binance are worried a little bit. So I think, look, it's really interesting to see. It's certainly going to be one to keep an eye on this space. And I certainly think we are poised for a really good run on Saitama price. That's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. As ever, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.